a good time, everyone. Uh, morning, probably, for seeing this right when it comes out. Um, <clears throat> this is probably the last video for the month of uh, April. I uh, got one last haul. My third trip with uh, Mick. I think two this month, one at the end of last month. Uh, so first up, <laughs> we went to two places, uh, spent 26 at one place, because even though I counted twice with the lady, she said, uh, after I said 20 shirts, she's like, 10 shirts? She kind of shrugged and charged me way less than I needed to pay on half off Salvation Army Day, which is always nice. You know, you can't really fight it too many times, especially when you give them the right count. And it's like when a bartender gives you a free drink at the end of the night. And you're like, oh, but there's uh, two more that I owe you for. Just quiet and walk away and be thankful. <clears throat> uh, you got the hookup. Um, but then we went to the, uh, what is it, DAV? Down there in uh, El Cajon. And I think Mick was flirting a little too hard with the lady because I think she charged me a little more than I expected to pay. Uh, maybe I grabbed some things at the end that bumped the price to 54 but I spent about $54 for what's in here, including what's the here. Uh, this is, uh, if you remember... We did this to ourselves. We made this guy popular. Ed Hardy. Kristen Ottinger. Uh, just some weird geisha kind of fusion. Guns N' roses -y vibe. <laughs> um, he's got his name. Who to blame. Kristen Ottinger. Uh, it was five bucks. There's some. This side's pretty good. This side must have been the side that had the keys up against it. Um, I guess it's not that bad. I remember, yeah. Just a little bit of a flaw. Looks like she's got a canteen floss mustache. Due to my love. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah, it was five bucks. I saw them sell as lows 20 and uh, around 50-ish. Uh, I don't know the condition. I know a lot of people aren't de uh, super detailed with the condition. And I think sometimes that help helps sell the piece. I don't like the idea that they're uh, making a sale. Did I not hit record? Oh, thank gosh. My hand was hovering and covering the timer, and it just looked like I was uh, talking to myself. <laughs> Which I do in the car when I'm practicing bits, so. I've been known to do that. But yeah, five bucks. Uh, I think it'll uh, it'll it'll sell. And I think it's really crappy when sellers bank on. Yeah, come in. So yeah, the zipper works. Uh, everything looks relatively good on this. Um, thingy, my bobbin bag. And hopefully, I can get the shipping. Uh, my other concern was just folding this thing up. I wanted to fold it up uh, in a way that doesn't crease it. I got a bunch of bubble wrap, so maybe I can like roll it around that and still keep it within the confines of a, a medium flat rate, something like that. <clears throat> and uh, sorry, the allergies, I'm sure if you're alive right now, you're feeling them too. My allergies are insane right now. Uh, if I look at the sun or just step outside, this was uh, one of the ones I saw on the way out. It was two bucks and it was a vintage Spitfire skateboard uh i don't know if it's you know skate or spit, spitfire boards but uh yeah it's a skate brand used to make boards used to make apparel to make everything <laughs> just so hard to remember who does what got poser skate club pharmacy board makers or something like that yeah <laughs> they should all just take the skate moniker I looked that one up, uh, low end 15 for the older ones to uh, 35. If I get lucky and greedy with the pricing, I'm pricing to move. By the way, I had a really good day. Uh, from yesterday's video, I sold two items the uh, Rain Spooner Double XL and the um, one of the John Varbatos, no, James Purse uh, polos. And then I had a Depop sale, my first one ever, because I migrated and I stopped using it and I happened to have it in inventory it was a travel smith shirt <clears throat> a couple other uh, pieces the Metallica shirt sold from earlier and uh yeah so today it brought me over to 120 
and I'm very, very thankful, very, very stressed, but a little less very, le very, very stressed, so, Woof. So, yeah, uh, I can already tell it's going to be a long video. I'll try to hurry up. Uh, okay, so, let's put that in the bag because they put it here. Um, again, it was a different day, half off on blue, 20% off pink. This was six bucks, and it's just like a San Diego All Star Game jersey. I didn't see I, they sell regularly at all these like championship and whatnot. I didn't see this exact one at all. This jersey, so I'm just gonna price it like you know midpoint thirty ish uh, with shipping and see if uh, it sells. I am not too worried if I miss out on selling it for fifty because I want to sell it soon. <clears throat> this is a band. Got it for four bucks. I kept on looking up. Uh, Dolbeat, just because it was wrinkled and at a weird angle, and Volbeat kept on showing up, and I kept on ignoring it. I just wasn't picking it up. Not monitoring myself anyway. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, it just seems like a, a band that plays and performs, and they have enough of a following to where I could get fifteen bucks ish. Uh, again, I, it, I'm not used to spending like four for a thing I'm gonna get for fifteen for. But if I put it up soon, then it'll be fine with a quick return. And that's the thing I'm, I'm, I'm trying to learn. I, I tend to sit on things and wait. And it's better just to get it going and get it out. For 150 I got a People's Champ, Ali, Zaire, Rumble, Young Man Rumble. Um, this company, RO, I forgot. They showed up. They do recreations. It's not going to give me a crazy high price. But I think I can get 10 times, like 15 bucks for 150 Again, do it quick. <clears throat> this one, Mickey and I didn't recognize, but it does seem like their golf shirt self pretty well. This is called Johnny O. And it's like this really stretchy polyester. I think it was fully polyester golf shirt. But it feels really light. Like right now it's resting a little bit on my knee and on my... Uh, waist and it feels very cool to the touch i know polys tend to uh get hot really quickly but maybe the weave just breathes really well oh never mind it's 100 percent cotton ah just kidding it's 93 percent polyester seven percent spandex exclusive of decoration so the buttons are not either of those things <clears throat> uh i think i saw them as high as 30 uh, I have it filtered to not show me new, so I think that's maybe what I can get for it on the high end. But again, I'm going to price everything low. Um, like the James Purse today, the golf short sleeve. That Again, they're five, by the way. I thought it was going to fit me to some degree. They're five is a double XL. That would have just sat on me. So I'm glad I, it didn't fit me so I could sell it. <clears throat> so just a future reference. If you see a purse in the wild and don't have time to, or don't remember to look up their their signage go down from there four is a single xl three is an l this is kensington or kennington california and they had it for ten dollars i almost didn't grab it because the weave made it look as if it had stains but if you look closely and apologies if the lighting isn't the best the weave on the argyle the white and i guess off-white or yellow white eggshell um it's meant to be like that so i looked at it and in the thrift store lighting i was like oh it's got a stain no nah, it's got a stain but some of these pieces were selling for as low as 30 up to 80 if i remember correctly i know there was a few for 50 ish um and fairly recently so it's a california maker it's a pretty heavy grandpa jacket i'm not i assume i thank god for allergies and stuffed up sinuses there because i i don't want to smell grandpa right now um, but yeah, I think the, this will sell quick to some uh, young kid trying to channel his uh, inner old guy. You know, the sweet little dark boy. Well, hopefully like this, Kennington. Boom. Uh, another one that's got to be a quick flip or else I'm just sitting on a goofy shirt. These seem to sell <laughs> pretty regularly. Just price them 12 to 15-ish. Uh, it's just a Smurf shirt, tripping. It's a prefab that black is vinyl. For a second, I thought it was a shirt that some guy had, and then they got creative with it on the, you know, towards the end of its life. But no, it's uh, 
There was a bunch like this. I paid five for it. Uh, again, I had such a good deal at the Salvation Army that I was like, I'll spend a little extra for things that uh, will motivate me to get them up and out quicker. And this is one of the first things I found. Not discounted. Six bucks. Mick happened to get one of these exact ones at the other spot uh, last month. And uh, you put them up for around 40 uh, to start. And then uh, maybe at the low end, 20 But uh, it'll go. Let's see. I know that there's the one with, like, a flaw. Yeah. This, so this was... Uh, Two bucks, Sears Promo Press. If I was smart or had any foresight, I probably would have kept track of the costs. I'll do that later again. Um, I don't know if this was a yellowed collar. Okay, right here. Just a little bit of something on the fabric. These Promo Press and anything that's a high polyester, moderately polyester. Yeah, 80 20. Yeah, 80 polyester, 20 comb cotton. They almost don't need to be steamed. They, they, they could use it, you know, it'll help clean. And they're very easy to clean up. And uh, perma presses, again, uh, I've seen them for around twenty-ish. Let me look it up right now while I have it, because it's been a minute since I've. It's been a month. Perma press. Event. Yeah, people are listing them for twenty-five, twenty-five, eighty-eight, twenty-five, eighty-eight. That feels wrong. Interesting glitch. I hit sold. It doesn't filter. I unclick sold. It takes me to the filter. Sears 19, 31 for new sealed, 33 for new sealed, 25, 16 for the pants, 17.99 for a flannel. But the rest of these are kind of like, you know, these almost see through transparent. One of my favorite shirts is in a uh, Eli Plains yellow, blue, white, and I think a purple plaid. All right, so that was two bucks. I think I think I got like a couple project shirts. That one being one, hopefully it's quick. Oh, this one should be a quick list too. Uh, LL Bean? No, this is not. This one stuck in there because it was seven dollars down to three or four. I know he showed me that he'd sell them for like fourteen or something like that, but I probably wouldn't have gotten it. It's just too simple. But it's a nice blue standard LL Bean shirt. Feels really nice to the touch. A little bit of wear in the collar. Large, tall. Yeah, it'll go to to one unique guy. Wrinkle resistant. And yeah, this actually will go. Just doubting mix mixed choices now. All of a sudden, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Pirate Captain Man. Another one of his choices. I think I just grabbed it on his uh, recommendation. Uh, I've seen and sold enough Brooks Brothers, and I know just as long as it's not a Brooks 346... Which is their outlet brand from back in the day. Should be good. Button down collar. Haven't had issue with either or. Thank God the world is just ever growing. And there's enough people of every style and shape. That loves every style and flavor. That if you don't have too much of one piece. You'll eventually move it off. Or donate some. <laughs> Alright cool. There's splinters in there. I don't know. Give it a. Why not? Vinegar bag. Please comment if you know if vinegar doesn't even help. I am getting some diatomaceous earth. Alright, first up. Alien Labs. This is from the first spot of the day. The day? The day? The day evening? Alien Labs shirt. Um, I think it's Skate Company or something like that. Uh, if I remember it was like 15 to 40. I could be mistaken it with Alien Workshop, which I just put a Keith Herring up. Uh, the, those seem to go for uh, a pretty decent amount, about 100 bucks for some of the uh, boards to 300 bucks, And then 100 ish for some of the shirts are 50 to 150 On a bunch of sites, and I don't feel like making multiple accounts. Uh, we got three of these, dude. Got some Guy Fieri in his like, youth shirts. Like, pure polyester. I don't need to... To, to steam them. I will just to be safe, but... You know? You know? Just to be safe, but yeah. They're basically ready to sell to some king out there with his puka shells and Jenko pants. Skull, anchor blue. Uh... <laughs> just Guy Fieri wear. Papa Roach wear, you know? 
I'm gonna work on my uh, West Coast Customs wear. Yeah. I'm not even dogging. I'm just freaking improving. So, if this is your kind of shirt. Feel free to make me an offer. I won't think less of you. I just appreciate appreciate a little yes anding every once in a while. This one says back off. They're both uh, they're all three XL back off all over it. I've seen a tramp stamp similar to this. It was very nice to get to know her. This one's for me. Uh, I, I got a San Diego shirt right at the beginning of the run, but there's a Filippi's Pizza Grotto, which I grew up going to as a kid. And uh, it's probably not even good pizza. If I go if I go there is with my adult tongue and brain, I'll find out it's probably not good pizza, but some good memories there. You can't take those away from me, America. Oh, uh, this is like one of four RL polo jeans that... Uh, Mick found. He just tossed them my way and uh, said I could have one, and I was like, why not? It's half-off day at Salvation Army, so let's uh, enjoy and uh, reap the rewards. I don't know if they're going to sell. I don't remember. There's RLL, I believe, which is like the really high-end one, and this could be one of those logos that like kind of tricks you into thinking you're getting RLL, but there's a hidden 346 in there, and it's like, whoops, you got the outlet brand, but it's fun. It was like, I think $2 for the pair, something like that. Oh, actually, the price doesn't matter because the lady didn't count about 10 shirts, t shirts that were $150 each. So it's take 15 off whatever you think this would cost at the Salvation Army. Uh, these I got to run by my roommate, but these are wrestling shirts. I just grabbed them because wrestling's cool and they're cheap. And uh, I didn't see this exact design, but I know enough wrestling dorks. That it'll sell. Sorry, I'll be. I'll try to be a lot quicker. I'm at the end of the day. I'm so. I, I was trying to psych myself out like a million times. I just ate dinner. Don't do the video. Just go to sleep. Just sleep. But no. Shelby Cobra T-shirt, fifteen to twenty. If it was a different brand that made it, I think I would have gotten a little bit more. But that's just meant to look vintage. This is a Hocus Pocus, actual Hocus Pocus, like, screenshot type shirt. It's not one of those local boogeyman sh uh, shirts. Uh, yakky, super yakky. Uh, I ended up finding it at some point on some search. I saved it in my uh, pictures, but I just like the movie growing up. So for a buck fifty, I'll give it a give it a try. New to me, super dry. Uh, is it not showing up? Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. So this is one of those textured shirts. This is actually like a, rise, a raised cotton. And it buckles. But uh, yeah. 10, 15, 20 bucks. I saw them for a different amount of prices. Uh, I don't know what I can get for them. I don't know how popular it is. I don't know if it's meant to look like it's something, but it's not really a good brand. Um, but again... I was just kind of going off feel. I don't know if it was a low battery day. <laughs> Mentally. Uh, this is one of those Lucky brand with Venice Burnout. It's probably guaranteed 15 bucks. Boom, boom, boom. Love me my tie-dyes. I just love a little good, a good little joking satanic uh, uh, worship. Baphomism, traditional tattooing. I think that's what it is. I think it's in regards to Baphomet, right? That's one of the 40 devils. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't pay attention in, in Bible school. I always drew stuff. Voodoo Donuts, place I heard about multiple times when I went to go visit Portland. And I've made it a point not to go visit. My girlfriend and I sound, sounded so, we felt so grossed out by every description of every donut people had. And we had left the movie theater. We're walking past the, after we had left the bookstore, uh, post movies. We're just walking, enjoying the city, going to a food truck. And then some kids walk up to us and like, hey, we work at Voodoo Donuts. We have too many freaking donuts. You guys want some? And they were walking down the street just handing people donuts. So I ended up getting a Voodoo Donut anyway. That's my story. Don't wear it out. Uh, again, they're a uh, pretty popular donut spot. So I'm guessing their merch is going to sell no problem. I'm just noticing there's like, 
collar striations on the back of this shirt that we grabbed. Uh, no, some color adjustments gonna need to get done. Take my word for it. It looks like um, kind of like a. <laughs> it looks like pressing. It's clearly pressing because it's on both sides, but it looks like a, a little deodorant stain. But uh, the rest of the shirt looked really good. The cost, again, really low price. Um, this one had, oh yeah, yeah, this is from the $1.50 store. For a discount. Another wrestling store, sh uh, shirt, sorry. It's not showing up. This is some wrestling guy. I do remember looking it up if you back it up. Yeah, um, I remember, I think 20 bucks for one in this size, and there weren't any others uh, on sale, so I'll just undercut that if, it, if I see another one in the meantime. Uh, this one was an instant get. It just looked like a 90s, early 90s ska band like thing. I don't know if it's like mid-2000s. It could have been last week, but uh, I grabbed it. I looked it up, and again, it was like worth it for at least 15 bucks. If it happens to be someone's, you know... Like legendary band from back in the day. It's Gildan Heavy Cotton, Heavyweight Cotton. And I I do feel like this is a retro. It doesn't look like it's a single stitch, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not an old shirt. And uh, yeah, you know what? I think I would have pointed out something with a single stitch. I'm doubting myself. I don't think any of the other ones were single stitch. So we're good. I, I didn't get any single stitch this run because of how many freaking ones I did get the other day. Um, okay, yeah, so this is a ska band. I might even recognize some of their songs. I'm going to look it up. I, I have to, I started watching House of a Thousand Corpses so I can properly list that <laughs> one shirt and see which exact baby that is. That's cool. So this is like a cherry pink shirt. Faintly cherry pink with like a black static look to it. It's never going to be white. It's not white. Don't think it's white. 19 minutes. Well, this is going to be a hearty breakfast. Yeah. Brooklyn Cloth Manufacturing Company. I think I got it just because I like the vibe. I, I I know it'll sell. It looks cool. And uh, I think it was also a large, so uh, extra large. Maybe a little part of me thought I could wear it. Oh, yeah. A new uh, Willys Jeep. Just like the, uh, the World War II, I think, model of Jeep. Helped us get through the war, gentlemen. It did its part. Will you do yours? Uh, it's a new shirt. I don't recognize crazyshirts.com paradise red dyed crazy shirt. So they probably left the crazy shirt tag when they sent off all these shirts to Jeep or whoever else was selling them to the promotional. These probably don't need to be on them, but maybe they're that promotional to where some intern fucked up and left the tag. Because I don't think there's a price tag. It just... Or maybe they sell them online. I don't know. You know what? I'm supposing, because I'm exhausted and my brain's just running, Paradise Red Dyed Crazy Shirt. Um, and I just want to get some sleep now, because this is going to be a bunch of work for tomorrow. Uh, the Illusion Ain't Buying Into the Status Quo Skate Shirt. Maybe. Band Shirt. Maybe. Just a guy who makes shirts guy. Maybe. Saw a dude, and he had a bunch of these multiple colors for 24 20 um, I don't know what it is. I'm going to look it up. And as long as it's not some some racist agenda situation, like that Offender shirt my friend got like years ago that we almost sold. We looked it up and it was like some biker bar that had like clear things that would indicate we wouldn't be welcome. Uh, LCR established 89 medium. Uh, I forgot what he called it. Sunburst or something. Some, this type of design. Um... But yeah, it's like a red and black, simple, like, single stitching kind of situation on the shoulders and sleeves. Um, I don't know if it'll sell. I couldn't find anything because it's a small name, a short name. So Google just kind of confused me with a bunch of stuff. 
but uh maybe i'll i'll find something but i was thinking 15 20 bucks on the low end uh, it feels really nice like very soft another one that's just kind of cold to the touch so i wouldn't be surprised if it happens to be a good brand Ooh, my voice is sick of me it's running out oh, this is a new impractical jokers uh medium uh i'm not into the show but I am into the Sal Volcano. He's on a lot of podcasts, and he he seems he's an actual comic, so he's like a funny dude. Uh, so I grabbed it because I don't know. I'll make money off that guy's name. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going for. It was cheap. It was a buck fifty, and it's a new shirt. Let me sell it for fifteen. Leave me alone. Uh, REI Co-op. I happened to grab this uh, REI Co-op. It just felt a little good, a little different than the other ones, and. Mick actually told me when I was showing him the shirts, I was like, hey, I got an REI. He's like, I don't grab any REI unless it says co-op. I was like, oh, bummer. And I flipped it, and I was like, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's like a little co-op. So, REI right, co-op. Again, buck 50 day, however many shirts I got, take off 10, and then charge me a buck 50 per. Uh, New Era Heart Foundation. This one, again, I knew right away it was like a wrestling thing maybe the mullet the mullet's just never gonna go away is like a wrestling related hairstyle but uh i looked it up and i eventually found it and again wrestling teeth can sell um it's i misspelled heart because i kept on putting it in e and not finding it i eventually found it new era heart foundation uh ladanian tomlinson light blue uh like jersey style like shirt this is from san diego chargers back when they were the San Diego Chargers. Oh, that's so funny. It looked so obliteratedly stained all of a sudden. And it was because, from my eyes, you can, thankfully the camera isn't picking it up, or unfortunately, from my eyes, what was coming through was from the other side. And it, oh my God, I was like, how am I going to deal with this? Why did I grab it? In my head, I was yelling at myself for those brief seconds that you saw. Um, this is uh, the first one I got. San Diego, California All-Star Game. So that jersey I got that I couldn't find online on anywhere, um, I grabbed because I happened to grab this t-shirt. I thought this was going to be my California shirt, you know, to sell since I was going to keep the Felipe's Pizza shirt. And uh, I was like, you know what? Let me just put the, both of those shirts up and see what happens with it. Um... But yeah, that is it. I'm very eager to go to sleep. And uh, your morning's probably starting. So depending on how early you see this video. Maybe you can catch us on the Awful Neutral D&D stream. If you want more of this for some silly reason. But uh, yeah, be well. Have a good one. Good luck selling. Keep on, keep on keeping on, as I've been saying. Holy crap, just keep on doing it. Just keep on listing. Keep on adjusting your prices. Making sure your, your shit's moving. I mean, today alone, this week alone, it's just, it's really been substantial. And it's just like part of the growth I've been saying. And fight through the laziness. <laughs> Talking to myself at the end there. Have a good one. Be well.